Thank you for having me. Uh, again, Ed Beard, president of Employers Edge up out of Denver. And I'm going to suggest this next five minutes is going to boil down to just a real cool decision on your part. I spent my entire uh, high school and college athletic career as a gymnast. And it was just a cool, cool experience for me on how to coach people through fear. I ended up moving on to coaching NCAA women's gymnastics at the college level, obviously. And I can tell you, high bar is the most intimidating apparatus on the planet. Accidents are big on high bar, and there's a move on high bar called the Kovac. It's a backflip over the top. The gymnast is a good four or five feet over the bar, which is eight feet off the ground. And there's a series of events it takes to make that Kovac. You have to add power, you have to release longer, and you have to go a whole lot higher, right? Here's the challenge with that all adds up to a longer fall to the ground and a trip to the emergency room. So what people tend to do is control the fall. Pull back on the power, but now you're out of position to actually make the move. And here's the thing, you don't really observe your fall. You only, or uh, control your fall, you only observe it. Gravity takes over and you're going down. Well, you want to expand your reach? There's a business gravity, a career gravity, a reach gravity. You have to do what it takes to make that move or you're kind of going down. That's just kind of how it works. Just know only the series of events it takes to make that move actually makes the move. And somehow we want to, to put in play the series of events it takes to control the fall and somehow end up with the move. It doesn't work that way. Only doing what it takes to make the move makes it. And if you leave out one of those events, you're controlling the fall. So my question for you, right? Are you making the move in your reach or are you controlling the fall? Which one is it? Now, don't think for a second that doing a Kovac over the top, the, the top of the high bar, 14 feet off the ground is normal the first time. Anything awesome you do the first time is not normal. If it's normal, you know it's really not much to it. People are going to think you're a nut job. They put in play the series of events it takes to control the fall. So they don't understand what you have put in play when you make the move. Don't think people are going to get it. They're just not going to get it. So I'm coaching at the high school level. A young gymnast comes up to me and she says, Coach, can you spot me on a double back dismount off the high and even? I said, sure, happy to do it, right? So uh, four-inch pad underneath there, plenty safe, everything's cool. She's dragging over this six-inch pad up underneath there. I said, well, what's that for? She says, well, what happens if I come off? I need, I need that. I says, let me ask you this. What happens if you do what it takes to make that move? What will happen? She goes, I'll make it. Do that. Just go do that. But we put crash pads under ourselves to catch us. So what is your crash pad you're putting underneath yourself in your career and in your reach? And is that crash pad there just in case? Or is that crash pad there because you're actually planning on using it? Crash pads look like, oh, you know, sales, they never listen to me. You know, they don't listen to a word I say. They're... That's the reduced expectation crash pad. How cool is that? You know what? I, I don't really need a seat at the strategic table. I'm perfectly happy shuffling nine nines, right? Okay? That's the deny your ambitions crash pad. Oh, it, it's not something I really wanted to do. It was just an idea. 
that's, you know, that's, uh, that's deny your worth, your value crash pad. Here's the thing. Moving through fear, we want a skill to overcome it. It's a decision. It is not a skill. You ever notice if it's a skill, you're always one skill short. So you don't need a skill. You need to make a decision. You learn that you can't see the high bar halfway through the move. And so much of what you learn about the move, you learn during the move. And then you, then when you finally complete that Kovac, you grab that bar, you swing it through. Now people are, I get it. Oh, now I know what you mean. See, their first step in control in the fall was to let you make the move. So, you know, we're here at the, at the conference. If you need help discussing the series of events it takes for you to make your move or how to remove a crash pad, great. But my question for you, so what's it going to take for you to make a decision?